YT Dan Duel Links is sponsored by viewers like you. Support the channel directly by becoming a member. Now see, you done messed up. I told you that I was gonna get in there for game with Fissure. I told you that monster destruction will begin to open up the door to the interdimensional clap that is coming forth in the KC Cup. Get ready, my boys, because I'm going to drop onto you right now a degenerate deck that will steal victories in the KC Cup and will also probably get you some as well. So if you're interested in some low-key, ice-cold KC Cup strategies, you need to go ahead and click that subscribe button and crush the like button. So this deck is fissuring, fissuring. <laughs> This deck is featuring the new spell card Fissure from Shark Fang. You guys know that this card is a card I've been talking about for a really long time. Well, not even a really long time. As long as this card has been announced or released or whatever, I've been talking about this card as long as I've known about this card. And this card is absolutely busted because Fissure is basically opening the field up um, against our opponent on the first or second turn so that we can come in and attack for game using Gaga Ga Ga Samurai. Now you're wondering, my boy, I know you probably got a couple duds with this, but I mean, how are you really pulling this off? I'm gonna tell you, because right now we got 10 goldfish in the game, pretty busted. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level four monster from the hand. And we also have Goblin Bird. When this card is normal summon, you can special summon a level four lower monster from the hand. But the monster we summon, is Gleefy the Phantom Bird. This card is basically a breaker, but you summon this card on summon. He can destroy a spell or trap on your opponent's side of the field. And because he can do that, he opens your opponent up. So all you have to do is activate Fissure, exceeds into Gaga Ga Samurai, pop the ties and attack for game. Now, this you would think is not a viable strategy because there's so much things that can disrupt. And I mean, sure. There is, but there's no reason for us to be upset. Well, if I summon, for example, this and it gets floodgated and then I summon the Gleefy, I still got to clear a second back row and I still have a 1500 beater on the field. That monster that they have on the field randomly is gonna get fissured and I'm gonna smack for 15. The minute you draw a little bit of blood or life points from your opponent, that leaves them open for a finishing Gaga Ga Samurai or a finishing Kachi Akuchi, a dragon. Now also, there is another fatal combo in this deck. Um, we are using number 32, Shark Drake. And I ain't talking about regular Drake. I'm talking about Shark Drake, my boy. He gonna take your ass directly to the grassy. This beast right here will end the game so fast with Fissure and Herald from the Abyss is just the perfect combination. So the example I like to use, which I actually came across, is using number 32, Shark Drake, to overcome someone who plays a cockatiss because there's always gonna be the guy who drops the cockatiss and then he tries to either poke you with the uh, submarine roid or he tries to steal victory with some other monster. Stay alive with kite roid so that you can summon your number 32 shark drake and then kill that monster after you've already dealt some damage of course. This is the type of deck that I really like and enjoy because it's so cheesy on the first turn, you can just play your Wenda safe, securely. And if they destroy the Wenda um, and there's other monsters on the field with pass 28, or well, with attack that can be stopped by 2800 defense, you're going to bring in your uh, ulti pedal fin. But if they can't stop 2600 attack, you're going to bring in your ulti apolio. Now, the cool thing about ulti apolio or ulti pedal fin is that it's going to stop your opponent. And typically, if it stops their opponent from attacking, they only have one monster in the field, leaving them wide open for a fissure. And then after the, all of this, you, what are we going to do about Cockatus? What are we going to do about that Lunar Light card or any other card that can't be destroyed? Well, we're going to send them to the graveyard with Herald of the Abyss. I didn't say this card was a bad card. I just said that we need to play three fissure, my boy. So we're running two Herald, three fissure, and we're getting right in there for game. So as you can see, we are running seven, no, eight cards that can destroy a card easily, um, which uh, five of those are all monster type destruction. And right now in the meta from what I've been seeing, 
this is the perfect combination of cards to steal games easily. So my boys, I really wanna thank you for tuning in for this video. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video. Um, take a look at some of these replays and as always, keep it dank.